this episode, we are trying a unique flavored Pringles that I got from my Thai Snacks Premium Box, and it is going to be fish and chips flavored Pringles. For those of you joining us for the first time, I'm Yun. At Nosh Finder, we are here to bring you unique snacks from around the world, break down those flavor profiles, and stay till the end because I'm gonna give this snack a Nosh Finder rating to determine whether you should try it or not. So I love fish and chips, especially when my husband and I went to London. We went to a couple fish and chips or chippy shops and love the fried fish with the malt and vinegar and the freshly fried french fries, or I guess chips. So let's dig into some nosh facts to just see exactly what fish and chips are. Fish and chips is a common hot dish consisting of fried fish and batter served with chips in the United Kingdom and other various countries. The dish originated in England as an example of culinary fusion combining Iberian Jewish fried fish and Belgian fried potatoes. The tradition in the UK of fish battered and fried in oil may have come from Jewish immigrants from Holland. The earliest known shops were opened in the 1860s in London. By 1910, there were over 25,000 fish and chip shops across the UK and over 35,000 shops by the 1930s. The British government safeguarded the supply of fish and chips during the First and Second World Wars, and it was one of the few foods in the UK that was not subject to rationing during that time. Early fish and chip shops are better known as chippy and modern British slang had only very basic facilities. Usually this consisted of a large cauldron of cooking fat heated by a coal fire. Fish and chips is a prominent meal in British culture and became popular in wider circles in London and Southeast England in the middle of the 19th century. The fish and chip shop later evolved into a fairly standard format with the food served in paper wrappings to queuing customers over a counter in front of the fryers. Over 250 million fish and chip meals are sold each year in the UK. In Britain and Ireland, cod and haddock appear most commonly as the fish used for fish and chips. Fish and chip shops in these regions traditionally use a simple water and flour batter, adding a little baking soda and a bit of vinegar to create lightness as they react to create bubbles in the batter. Other recipes may use beer or milk batter, where these liquids are often substitutes for water. The carbon dioxide in the beer lends a lighter texture to the batter and an orange-brown color. In chip shops, salt and vinegar are traditionally sprinkled over fish and chips at the time it is served. Suppliers use malt vinegar, onion vinegar, or the cheaper non-brand condiment. And in the US, tartar sauce is commonly served with fish and chips. I secretly do like tartar sauce, which is the more American version with my fish and chips, but all in all, a very delicious dish. So I wonder if these Pringles will actually taste like the actual dish itself. So let's find out. All right, in my hand, I have these Passport Flavors Pringles Fish and Chips flavored, London style. And I love the Pringles packaging, and this one is definitely really cool. It has a background of London, and it has a nice fried piece of fish with the Lay's Pringles, and then the French fries or the chips on the bottom. And it's so cool that they actually have the newspaper with the British flag on the bottom to kind of hold up these chips. All right, so let's open it up and see how they taste. All right. So when I look at this chip, it is pretty bland color. There's not much seasoning at all. I see little flecks of like, I guess it looks like salt or some type of seasoning, but yeah, definitely not much color to it at all. So let's smell it. Oh, I'm not getting anything at all. No smells. No nothing whatsoever. It almost smells like an original plain chip and it actually looks like one too. So let's try it out and see how it tastes. So even though the chip doesn't smell like anything, doesn't look like anything, it actually tastes like something. It tastes like the fried fish that you get in fish and chips, but even more surprisingly, it tastes like cod. So out of all the different types of fish flavors, Pringles was able to nail down the cod flavor in these fish and chips, which is a very common fish that's used in this dish. And the potato crisp is simulating a bit like a fish and chips um, with the french fries or the chips. 
and um, it's not too salty though so it would have been nice if it was a little bit saltier um, because I think that would bring out a lot more flavors and a lot more bolder flavors. The crisp actually has a bit of mild malt and vinegar but not too overpowering but for myself I think I would have liked a little bit more so you can really get that full dish type of taste. So with that I would give these London style fish and chips crisp a notch finer rating of four out of five. Thank you Thai Snacks for all your awesome snacks that you offer on your website in addition to this premium box that is packed to the gills. Be sure to check out the link below and get yourself a box to try it out. If you want to challenge your palate or step up your snack game, be sure to check out all my other videos too. And if you want to check me out on the daily, be sure to follow me on Instagram. See y'all next time.